I just transferred all my cryptocurrency off Coinbase on something the company said, something that could doom the company and could mean investors lose any crypto they have on the platform. Hey, Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with an emergency update for all the investors in Coinbase stock or anyone with money on the platform. Why I'm leaving Coinbase and the news just out this week that could bankrupt the company. Now, all you in the nation know I've been a supporter of Coinbase in the past. At one point, I had all my crypto on the platform, but then started moving it over to my BlockFi account on lower fees, interest on my account, and the rewards credit card. I still kept that Coinbase account open though because I didn't want everything on one platform and couldn't connect my Iowa bank account to BlockFi. Yeah, thanks Iowa. But something the company just released in its new quarterly earnings report this week has me worried for everyone with money still on the platform, along with investors in the stock. This one sentence alone could bankrupt the company. I transferred almost $75,000 in Bitcoin and Ethereum I still had in Coinbase over to my BlockFi account. I still have some Ethereum locked up in staking, but only about $2,000 and less than $100 in a few other cryptocurrencies that I got on Coinbase for free. But now almost my entire $343,000 crypto portfolio is on BlockFi. Now, if you don't have a BlockFi account, I'll leave a link below with their free Bitcoin offer. Open a new account for up to $250 in free Bitcoin and cash back. And those of you in the nation know, I warned on Coinbase stock in a video when the company issued its shares. I like the platform, but as a stock investment, I think there's something investors are missing. I'll link to that video with a full explanation in the description below, but the idea is, for Coinbase stock to do well, you have to see crypto and Bitcoin do well also. But here's the thing, crypto and Bitcoin investors don't need Coinbase to do well to make money. Nation, there are thousands of crypto investing platforms. The price of Bitcoin or Ethereum or any of those other cryptocurrencies do not need any particular platform to do well. Bitcoin could go to $100,000 and beyond, but if Coinbase cannot lower its fees or do something to stay competitive against all those other platforms, it will continue to lose money and lose users. So with this kind of uneven deal for investors, it's just better to invest directly in cryptocurrencies than, than on any of the single platforms like Coinbase. If you don't make money investing directly in Bitcoin, you wouldn't have made money on Coinbase either because Coinbase needs investors in cryptocurrencies to make money. But that was all before Coinbase issued its disastrous first quarter report and said something that could doom stockholders and anyone with money on the platform. In it, Coinbase reported a loss of almost $2 a share on revenue of $1.17 billion, more than $300 million below what was expected. Worse though was the company reported a loss of monthly users down 20% and trading volume was down 40% from the same quarter last year. And Coinbase stock plunged 26% on the news and is down 85% from its high last year. But it was something they said buried inside that report that could mean this stock goes to zero. The company added a new risk disclosure in its quarterly 10Q report buried deep on page 84 of the 142 page document. Here it says, we held $256 billion in custodial fiat currencies and cryptocurrencies on behalf of customers. Okay, so nothing new, nothing surprising. Coinbase is holding the crypto and the money that you have in your account. But now look at what it says later in that same paragraph. In the sentences before here, it's talking about the financial risks and even bankruptcy of the company. And it says, because custodial held crypto assets may be considered to be the property of the bankruptcy estate, in the event of a bankruptcy, the crypto assets we hold in custody on behalf of our customers could be subject to bankruptcy proceedings and such customers could be treated as our general unsecured creditors. Now let me break that down for you in non-lawyer speak. Coinbase is saying if it goes into bankruptcy, all the crypto it's holding for its customers could go to pay off its creditors and the actual account holders themselves wouldn't get anything until the company's debts have been paid. Now here, considering Coinbase owes nearly $3.4 billion in long-term debt, not including current liabilities of $11 billion, the odds of anyone with crypto on Coinbase getting anything back in the event of a bankruptcy, it's about the same odds of monkeys flying out my ass right now. Now, of course, the CEO is quick to come out and say the company is not at risk of bankruptcy right now, and I believe him. Coinbase has more than $6 billion in balance sheet cash and about $11 billion in other short-term assets, so I don't think this is something that we have to worry about right now or that could happen over the next month. But what I'm worried about here and why I transferred all my money over to my BlockFi account is this becoming something like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Nation, your crypto, your money should not be at risk if the platform gets into trouble. 
and custodial assets should be held legally separate from the company. You know, that's how it works on other broker investing platforms and that's how it works on most cryptocurrency platforms. For Coinbase to come out and say, even in the unlikely event of a bankruptcy, it's gonna use your money to pay its debts? Well, I transferred my money out and I wonder how many other crypto owners will also. And the company already lost $430 million in the first three months alone and burned through $1.5 billion of its cash to support the company. And how bad could it get if a user exodus builds? Again, I'm not saying Coinbase is going bankrupt overnight, but my money should be my money, not the company's to use to pay off its debts. Look for that link to BlockFi in the description below and get your free Bitcoin or click on the video to the right for my price target on Ethereum, why I think it could rise 2400%. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.